right, that mug is coming. Is July 31st 2018 which means it is the day before Nevada's archery antelope season begins day of archery season here in Nevada and I am just didn't sleep a wink last night so very exciting it's a quarter to six now I'm um, sitting over the water hole it's about 30 yards from my blind it's been up here uh, I put the blinds up five days ago uh, my buddy Ernesto is here hunting with me and uh, I put a blind up for him as well and he's about a, about a half a mile away Anyways, we've got a cool setup here. There's a ton of goats. We've seen a bunch of bucks yesterday evening after we got here and got our little makeshift camp set up. So I think we've seen about 30 bucks yesterday, 22 bucks in one group. So uh, all those bucks, we've seen about about six really, really solid shooters. Anyways, we're in it for the long haul. We've got lots of food and water, comfortable chair. And uh, we're just going to sit here, chill out. And imagine we won't see the activity until it gets hot midday. So I brought a good book and uh, looking forward to the hunt. A few days after the opener for archery antelope here in Nevada, uh, came back home last night after getting our butts whooped for the first couple of days of season. Um, the area that I had found in scouting that had all the antelope in it on that on the fresh water was uh, not very good. Uh, my my good friend Ernesto and I sat for a collective of 35 hours, 17 and a half hours apiece over the course of two days, and saw one buck. It was a big one. Um, and Ernesto unfortunately was unable to capitalize due to a sound in his chair. Anyways, we're headed back out uh, to a different area, got all my gear loaded, and then more importantly, I've got my best little buddy with me. And it's him and I, dad and son, as it should be. Heading. Um, we're gonna just kinda hang out and keep it, or play it cool for the rest of the evening. But we're gonna go ahead and eat dinner, which is uh, cold elk meat cold elk meat, huh? So I barbecued some elk steaks that I had had marinating for about five days uh, today before we left and sliced them up into to bite-sized chunks. So we're gonna we're gonna say cheers to dinner tonight, ain't we, buddy? Yeah. Of cold elk meat, right? Yeah, you do either. You can try first. So it's uh, it's chilled, but it's cooked to perfection. Mmm. It is good, right? The heat and stuff doesn't really change it. And it's gonna taste better like this kind of. So, anyways, we're gonna hang out and uh, watch as the the sun sets. Get uh, get to bed early because we're getting up at what time? Four thirty. Four thirty in the morning. You be able to get up that early? <laughs> we'll get them up. So, <sighs> hopefully tomorrow brings us good luck. Now that I got my my best little hunt buddy with us.
bugs come into water. Or more prey. Did it. We have put in some hours lot, here in Nevada. A lot of hours. Chasing speed goats and I've just killed my first ever archery antelope buck. We're gonna go take a look at my Nevada public land 2018 buck. <laughs> and I can't tell you how pumped I am to know that my little boy was with me. <laughs> and uh, we spent so much time, 16 hours this kid's been in the blind with me between yesterday and today. So. It was all worth it. It was all worth it, wasn't it? We knew it. We knew it. Today was the day. Good things come to those who exhibit patience. Mm -hmm.